So I've been searching for a new polyester string of choice. I've tried over a dozen polyester strings over the past few months. So far, I thought this whole thing was wrapped up because I have an early favorite. That's Grapple Snake's Tour Sniper. But a new string has come along and threatened to upset the entire apple cart. It's called Grapple Snake's Tour M8. So our rep from Grapple Snake reached out to us raving about Tour M8, and I had already heard great things from the forums and the almighty tennis nerd who featured this string in his low tension test going for that Manorino spec. So Tour M8 was developed in response to players who wanted a more durable and thicker version of the Tour Sniper string. They had to tweak the formula to get the playability that they were looking for. So now we have an all new, more olive green color relative to this silver Tour Sniper. But also when you feel the string, it is way slicker feeling. It is super glossy and one of the slipperiest feeling strings that I've ever felt. Power with the M8 comes on in buckets. Power is not the reason we love the Tour Sniper. We love it for its consistency and its spin generation. The Tour M8 has both of those things, but I feel like power is a step up from the Tour Sniper. And when I had it in my rackets at the usual 52 pounds, I felt like it just had a little bit extra pop. And for that reason, I rated it one step higher. So when it comes to power, I was very impressed with this Tour M8. Compared to other 16 gauge strings, there's a very soft, strong ball pocketing experience. And it feels like it really slingshots the ball with a slightly higher launch angle than other 16 gauge strings, leading to easier access to depth. Spin potential is also extremely high for the Tour M8. It has, like Beckett's saying, an extremely excellent ball pocketing sensation. And that leads to it gripping and ripping the ball in a way that you just wouldn't expect from a string that's this thick and this smooth. I gave it a seven out of 10 as well. And that's a really strong score for a string like this. I don't think spin is its mission really, but it still accomplishes it in a really strong and compelling way. So for a rounder string, Tour M8 is eight-sided. The spin potential is seriously high quality. It's not crazy like those super shaped strings, but for something rounder, it's got amazing snapback. It's that glossy, super slick string that leads to a really low coefficient of friction between the strings, leading to free flowing mains that just glide against the crosses, coming up really rapidly against the back of the ball, providing tons of spin on both slices and topspin balls. Consistency is the last thing that we need to talk about. And it is the most important aspect of this string because it really is its mission statement. And consistency is where this string shines. It has an extremely predictable launch angle leading to a great sense of control. But more than that, it also keeps its characteristics fundamentally intact for a long period of play. I know I don't hit the hardest shots, but I was still getting up to 20 hours of play with this string in my racket. If there's one thing that needs to be said about the Tour M8, at the end of its life, it really does come to a screeching halt. Unlike any other string I've played with so far, it has a black and white moment, a horizon where you have gone too far and suddenly it goes from feeling like a great string to play with to something that's completely bagged out and you need to get it restrung immediately. That may sound like a bad thing, but it's not. This string lasts forever. And in that sense, it's almost nice to have it tell you when it's done, instead of you having to figure it out on the fly. Overall, I gave consistency a nine out of 10 for this string. The highest I've given any string so far. Consistency is the final and arguably most impressive part of this string. Yes, it does have a slightly higher launch angle than some other 16 gauge strings, but that launch angle is really consistent, regardless of where you impact the ball on the string bed, getting a consistently medium launch angle off the string bed in that 1.30 millimeter gauge. 
Now the last thing I want to talk about is a low tension test. One of the big things our grapple snake rep was raving about was how well Tour N8 performs at low tension. He recommended I start in the low 40s, so bam, 40 pounds, took it to my stringer, K8 Peter, as we know, he's the man. And right out the gate, it played amazing. I really like the string at 40 pounds. It's definitely one of the better feeling strings at low tension. That low tension just almost exacerbates that amazing ballparking effect. And it takes advantage of that great consistency we experienced. But there is one thing I didn't love. After the tension kind of settled and dropped, which all polys will do after your first hit, it felt like the strings were bottoming out or something. The same way that when you go over a big bump in a car, your suspension bottoms out, it felt like that ball pocketing experience was bottoming out. This led to like a slipping sensation where the strings weren't quite gripping the ball because they had reached the bottom of their ball pocket, but also a harshness at the end of a fully sunken in impact. It was like when you sit on a chair that has a thick cushion, but then like a piece of plywood underneath. So it's like soft hard. Overall, Tour M8 is seriously impressive. It's definitely one of my go-to strings right now, and I'm considering making the switch from Grapple Snake to Tour Sniper. This is definitely a string I recommend trying in almost any racket. It would be great in a hybrid too. We do have an affiliate link down below. You can get 10% off with that link, and we get a little bit of money too, which just helps the gears stay greased here at Tincom Media.